I like a long hair, pick a red bone. Good morning. Today is Monday, boy. June 2nd. So if you didn't pay your rent yet, you should pay it. I have till the 3rd, but I paid it today because I'm not trying to be evicted. Even though I usually pay on the 3rd, just so I feel like I control my money and you get my rent when I say you can get my rent, which really makes no sense and it's a complete and total ratchet way of thinking. I think Bentley's mad at me and I don't know why and that makes me sad. Maybe we need to bond more. Everyone have a good weekend. Mine was I. It wasn't the best weekend of all time, but it was not the worst weekend of all time. And hopefully this will be the best Monday ever and the best week ever. And we're all gonna go to work and we're gonna focus and concentrate and hit our goals and do what we gotta do. Because I have a feeling if they look at my reports from last week, I'm gonna get in trouble this week. Sometimes I just, not that I can't, but it's like you want me to do X, Y, Z a day, but to do X, Y, Z, it takes time, so I can't always get to Z, if you know what I'm saying. So hopefully I won't have an angry email waiting for me when I get there, and we'll have a really happy day. And you know what? We're going to be positive. This light doesn't hate me. It loves me. Because red is the color of love. I have no idea, but I'm at my lunch break. Whenever this song comes on, I'm like, girl, this is my song. I like a long head, thick red bone. And it's such a nasty song, and it's probably not saying anything good about females, but it's just like my ratchet jam. I'm a own. I hope you guys can hear me because my camera just gave me a weird message. I'm home from work and I'm playing with the bubbles. And we're cleaning out his house because it's dirty. Well, it's probably not even dirty. I'm just a Molly maid. And it's pretty easy to clean. I've gotten it down to about once or twice a week. It just, if he gets into something, then of course I clean it. But I take everything out and I vacuum the mat because he likes to play with the grass. He's getting so much better at it, but... He plays with his, I don't know what he does all day, but he sometimes he tears up the grass a little bit, so I have to, I just vacuum up like any loose pieces. And I wash it, his grass, once a week. If he does something real scandalous and funky, I'll wash as needed, obviously, but I do use potty pads under the mat, because I don't want to dump it out to um, clean it. And this is wet. Oh, because it's not dry. I was afraid to have nothing down, so the box was wet, so I just lined it. So I just lined it with the potty pad. And I throw those out like twice. I used to change them every day, but then I realized it was too clean, and that's why he wasn't catching on to potty training. Now I switch them out probably twice a week. I don't know, I just... I do it at least once a week. Sometimes I do it more than that. But I noticed that if I kept it super, super like OCD clean, then he wasn't making the connection that that's his baño. And I took his bed out. I was gonna wash it, but it's not really dirty, so I'm gonna leave it, because last time I washed it, it ripped apart. Because it's cheap. You're cheap. Where were you made? I was made in China. Where were you made, Bentley? I'm busy. Dang. He's into flipping his beds over. I don't know what's up with that. Trying to keep him occupied so Ow! So he doesn't have to pee while I'm washing his grass. That's what we're doing. I wanted to take him to the park and be the best mom of all time, but I'm tired. So I get a mommy fail. I don't really know what he's doing, but he keeps flipping it over and before he was dragging it all across the house and hitting the wall. It's so weird. 
You having fun in there? You want to come out? Bentley. <laughs> Hi. Why is your face so scraggly? You look poor. You little poor pup. You need to go to the groomer. Your chinny chin chins are too long. Ah! So I just realized I need to run to the store real quick, which is probably pretty stupid to do at 10.30 at night. But I need things for work tomorrow and I totally forgot and I won't have time to do it in the morning. Okay, I just don't wanna wake up early in the morning and go to the store because I hate going to the store in the morning. But we're gonna do a test and we're gonna leave the Bentleys unattended. Because it's 10.30, so he's going to go to sleep anyways. We're going to do an experiment. We're going to leave the TV on for him. And then we'll leave, like, one light on. Okay, Bubba's. You're going to stay here while Mama goes to the store. You're going to be the best puppy of all time. I don't think there's anything he can kill himself on. I'm only going to be gone for, like, 15 minutes. It's how we build trust. Completely uneventful. I don't even know why I brought my camera, but I bought 87 things that I don't need and I came here for two and a half things. So the Bentleys didn't do anything shady while I was gone. I'm so proud of you. You probably just laid down and went to sleep. I'm gonna start, he's four months old. If I'm gone for less than a half hour, I think he's fine. I'm not gonna do it all the time. We're gonna build the trust slowly. So yeah, I went there for two things. Came back with, that was already in my car. And I got more nanners, cause I have no frozen bananas because I took them out of the freezer the other day. I don't know why, oh, cause I was putting groceries away and I just left them on the counter and they were funka. I went there for twist tie bags. Some cups, they were a dollar and y'all know a dollar makes me holler. And makeup brush wipes. I use baby wipes and it was on sale so it's cheaper than buying one or two packs because I always just buy one or two at a time. Go me. Some of these applesauce squeezy things because I like to have them for a snack when I'm feeling like a piggy and I don't want to eat piggy things. And I got tennis balls because I'm just random. No, I want to see if he'll like them. A tabletop centronella candle for outside so the mosquitoes will leave me alone. And that's my haul. And I'm gonna call it a night because it's late and Bentley's and us have to go to bed. You wanna say good night to all your friends? Uh, bye guys. I'm, I'm gonna go to bed soon. I'm tired. Mommy played with me a lot today, but I'm tired. Bye! Oh! I got the sweetest email from someone today. I'm not gonna put her on blast or say her name. We'll just call her. PA girl. Maybe she'll know who she is, but I got your email and no, it's not weird and it's not creepy and I'm so glad that watching my random crazy silly life makes you laugh and makes you happy at a time when you need a little laughter and it humbles me that I can do that for you. Because everyone always said I should be a comedian, but I don't think I'm funny, but yeah. And you can email me anytime you want, even just to vent. And Bentley says that he loves you too. And he wants to give you some puppy kisses. Give your friend the kisses. Yeah, he gave you the kisses. So I'm gonna call it a night and email me again if you wanna talk or vent. And actually, email, if you wanna like legit tell me something, don't send me a message on YouTube because they make it so hard to get to it and I don't get notifications for it even though I'm supposed to. So if you really want my attention like ASAP, I mean email, my email is in the description below because I will see that a thousand times quicker. Bye!